talking about. Just what I came after. Oh, you not. Like seven pounds? Oh, yeah, we got some back and forth. Oh my god! Oh shit! Ah! Ah! Got it! Holy crap! For a good week, and that's if it don't rain. It's that's all it's done since January here and where I live. Since January, it has rained three to four inches every week. Uh, I had to just give up and take the canoe off, put it on the side of the house. We were gonna fish this boat dock out here. I have everything inside the restroom so it don't get wet. I got three poles with minnow and bobber, and I got one with a red wiggler for red ears. And what I'm gonna do is just suck it up get wet and set on the end of this boat dock i'm not going to be able to record because my camera is not waterproof even if it was i don't want to get water on the lens so every time i catch a fish i'm going to come in here to this restroom and show you guys what i caught so uh this is going to be a little different style of video but we were that determined and i did not want to set at home had this vacation planned for six months uh tomorrow we may just give up and do something else go bowling and go shopping uh, we have one more good day, and that's Friday, 10% rain. It's going to have to be in the same place. This is a thousand acre lake. Uh, I did catch the big crappie yesterday right here on the dock. So we're just going to try with minnows and bobber and just have three poles out at one time right here on the dock. It's just a light sprinkle right now, just enough to annoy you. I got everything out of my pocket, so I'll just go home soaking wet. All right, let's see what we can get, guys. 30 seconds to get my first fish in the rain with a bobber and minnow right at the dock. 30 seconds, that thing went under. He's about 10 inches. It's not a bad black crappie. Fish number one. Sometimes you just gotta get wet. No raincoat, do it like a man. All right, I'm gonna go back out. I got three poles out there with minnows right now. Good start. Oh, Willa has got one bigger than me, folks. I still got the camera on. Hers is 12 inches. Mine's 10, hers is 12. We got doubles. In the pouring rain, guys, that just shows to tell you, look at this outside. It's raining enough just to drive you nuts, but you know what? We didn't need the canoe, and we didn't care if it's raining. I, we was in a bad mood all the way here. All night I was cussing because it was pouring all night long. It ruined my vacation, I kept saying. But maybe it didn't. This is hope yet. We are going to come back here Friday in the canoe with Bobby Garland's. I got eight different colors of Bobby Garland's. Here, ho hold on. Let me hold that and you take a picture with my phone. It's already on over there. You just got to turn the camera phone on. I'll hold these both up. We're going to make, we already made a good, good day then. Yeah, wait, well, you can see a little bit. I, I don't want to get the camera to get wet. Camera ain't supposed to get wet. Hold on, let me do that one thing. There you go. 
It keeps curling. There. See, it's caught pump number three. And this is jet black. Its, it's cheeks are completely black in color. It's only about nine inches, but it's really dark. Its belly is completely black too. Very beautiful. Jet black crappie. Still sprinkling. Just enough to drive me nuts. That's a really dark crappie. So I can wear the camera for a little bit. I caught another jet black 11 inch crappie, maybe 12 even. Real dark black. I believe that means they have spawned, which means they'll be roaming. Really? It's a nice crappie here, guys. Jet black. Got one, folks. Another big crappie. Oh, my goodness. Well. Good job. Okay, you hold him up. We only caught the one white crappie so far yesterday, and everyone else has been black. The majority is black in here. There's a few white. My pole. I'm watching my bobber. Good job. Yeah. Nice one. This is definitely playing. Got to start putting them in the grass. Or stuff back here, they won't flop in because the rails are in the way. Six inch bass, they're overpopulated here. Probably because the crappie obviously are keys in here. Every crappie is an average of 11 inches at least on the small side. Very awesome. That's number six or seven already. Everyone's 11 to 12 inches. Nice black. Male. You should use the you should have used the 14 pound line I had. On the box. This is our catch so far. That stick holds them in. Look at that. Look. They ain't going nowhere. I gotta go change the pattern. Seven. Good job. I'm trying an actual sausage head for a minute. It got real windy. It quit raining and then 20 mile an hour winds picked up. Either one or the other. Isn't it? 
That's a small one. I, I think you gotta put that one back. They gotta be a certain size. They gotta be an A at least. They may have to be a Got another crappie. That's number eight. Real nice one. Good job, honey. I'm switching back to now. That's a really black one, too. Another one of those jet black ones. Beauty. What a beauty. Goodness. Yeah. Hold him up for us. Good picture of him. Now that, this is probably the darkest one she's caught so far. It's just jet black. <laughs> jet black cheeks. The one she caught earlier was doing, jumping like a smallmouth would. It, it's jumped out of the water like three or four times. It's crazy. Oh yeah, what a beauty. All right. Now I'll get one more over here the phone. That's a nice copy, guys. That was another 12 inch. Okay, hold him. Just you, not me. Okay. Okay, it's getting ready to be on. When I get a bigger one, yeah, like a 13. so bright the white's better than orange I'll go get a different one Crappie, folks. Oh, 
Minnow, oh, that was just the minnow fell off of it. Folks, you got another one of those jet black ones. My goodness. Good job, honey. I think we've caught at least 10 by now. Wow. Good job, yeah. Okay, hold on, let me take a picture of you with my phone. One picture. We're doing really good since it quit raining, huh? We didn't see we had a good day. It's getting up. I want to take one of you. I, you got too many of me, not enough of you. Just one. Just one real good one. It's black. Hold on. Screen went black. Gotta redo it. Camera. Oh yeah, big whatever it is. Get the net. Real big. This is the biggest one of the day, I think. Nah, it's about the same. All right, I learned the trick to it. Here's what you gotta do. You cast it really far in front of the weeds, as far as you can, way over there. Every three, about every 10 seconds, reel your reel, two cranks. And you can use the dead minnows that way your minnow keeps going like this it keeps falling then you reel it in two clicks it raises it up then it falls again and it gets their attention better than it just sitting there that's what i did because that minnow i just used was completely dead real far let it set about 10 seconds and then you go like this just go one two three just barely enough to scoot it and then let it set another 10 seconds you just do that over and over and it gets their attention. All right, another nice black here, another 12 incher guys. Had a good day. Started out being the worst day. I was in a horrible mood for it coming down rain. Because it originally said 40%. I was like, oh, that ain't bad. And, and then it jumped way up and everything fell apart and we made the best of our day and it turned out to be an amazing day we've probably caught 15 crappie already and they're every one of them we had one seven incher and all the rest are 11s and 12s I haven't got no 14 yet like i had yesterday that one was 14 and a half but still a great day not one of those little bass. Hey, you got a white, finally. First white crappie. First white crappie of the day. All right, yep, that's a white. All right, let me get my pole in. Finally got a white crappie, guys, after about 13 blacks. We finally got the first white of the day. Starting to wonder where they were. So it's about one out of every 10, maybe, is a white. I only caught one here yesterday, and it was white. Here, hold it up better. No, I mean on the video, here. Good job, honey. Yeah. First white crappie of the day, guys. Okay, hold on. I'm watching it. First white copy of the day, guys. Uh, folks, I was running away to go change my camera battery. And, uh... <laughs> That's a big one. 
Oh, hold on, I'm trying to get out of your line. I got it. No, I'm trying to get out of your line first. Oh, man. Wait, I think I'm on the right side of it. He swallowed the hook. Yeah, it swallowed the hook. This is the biggest crappie of the day. It's a big, f pregnant, fat female black. He's about 13 inches. Oh, man. Ain't no getting that hook. So now I gotta go up and get a hook, too. I gotta get the hook box. Folks, crappie of the day right there. 13 incher. Wow, check this out, guys. Oh, that's a nice black. The one we've been after, just one inch bigger than the ones we got, but it's a big difference from 12 to 13s when they get girthy. She's gonna take my picture, but she had a bite. All right, folks, this is our catch for the day. We caught about five more than this, but we had to put a lot of them back because they were smaller. So that's our catch for the day. We got one 13 inch, a lot of 10s and 11s, 12. Not a bad day for being frustrated in the pouring rain. Alright, until next time, hit that like button and please subscribe. Gobble, gobble! Oh, they took off too soon. I tried to get them. The big one, did you see it? Yeah, please. My god. She's got a nice crappie, guys. Yeah, yeah, wow. He's 12, 13, folks. We can, we can stay, we can stay another hour. We'll be all right as long as we don't stop long. Well, we just got the fish of the day, it looks like. Was that a minnow? Okay, I'm putting one on then. That's a nice one. Fish of the day, we've had a horrible day. The only reason they're biting now is because it's the sun going down. So I'm gonna take Alright guys, this was pretty much our last day of vacation. We got a few hours in the morning, but that's it. Uh things didn't turn out like you always think they will. Had a lot of problems. We really did two of the seven things I had planned. The white bass were late. Uh, it was still the small males up the river. But uh, then it rained for 48 hours straight, so the rivers were all ruined anyway. So I had to change my plans from white bass and walleye sauger to uh, crappie. But it rained so much, it rained six to eight inches here in two days. Uh, then two other days were so windy you could not fish. We're talking 30 mile an hour wind gusts, 35, sometimes even 40 mile an hour wind gusts, where I couldn't even put the canoe in today. It was that bad. The wind finally quit when we had to leave right at dark and stop. Um, I also had broke the black beams that go across the top of the drain over that hold the canoe on. I tightened the ratchet too tight and snapped them. That's the noise you hear. If you do hear it, it sounds like we're in a World War II fighter jet. Or bomber, I mean. And, uh, you know, just awful weather, awful conditions, white mess being late. Like I said, I lost the big old grass carp I fought for two hours. I lost a six pound bass. I had a sauger fall off. I lost three smallmouth. Uh, for some reason, that one lure I was using, the hooks were dull, even though it was a brand new crankbait. It just seems like nothing went right. We only got the hunt mushrooms one day, and I said I was going to do it every day. Uh, I was so wore out some days, I'd get up late, 
stuff is so beat. Um, you know, everything can't be perfect though. Uh, we did have a good day of crappie fishing in the rain, a good day at Kevin's lake. And we had the one good day there at the creek where she caught the Asian carp and I caught the six small white bass, the yellow bass, crappie and drum. So we had basically three days where things kind of went right. Uh, to get the crappie, yeah, right. To get the crappie, I had to fish in the rain. So I had, you know, three days that was fair, at least half decent, but four days were just ruined by completely by weather. Uh, if I would have known this, usually by this time of the year, the white bass are there, the big females, uh, but they're running late this year. It's going to be the first week of May before they're there, I guess. you got to have three to four stable days in a row, and that's never happened this year. It's always two nice days followed by cold and wet and windy. And you really need four 70, mid 70 degree days in a row, bluebird skies for that water to warm up. Uh, unfortunately, I won't be able to go for them where I live, so I basically I just took a week's vacation. That was just a total disappointment. Um, now I'm going to be switching primarily to warm mouth, red ear, and flatheads for the next month and a half. Maybe a crappie here on there on that, or here and there on accident. Anyways, maybe things will get better if it just quits raining, but it's not anytime soon. So it's the Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday are all 380%, so it's not looking good. It's the wettest and worst year of fishing I've ever experienced in my life. It's just things that have never gone right since January has done this to me. Alright guys, until next time, hit that like button and please subscribe.